In this video, we're going to set out the Career Guidance Guarantee. I'm Tristram Hooley from the University of Derby, and I'm speaking on behalf of the Career Development Policy Group today. You've probably noticed there's an election, so we thought it'd be useful to set out what it is we would like to see from all of the political parties that are currently vying to become our government. We know that career guidance helps people to manage their life, learning, and work. People's careers develop over the years, and so they need access to career guidance throughout life. The case for career guidance is supported by strong evidence. We know it works. Yet the career guidance system in England is in desperate need of improvement. That's what the career guidance guarantee is trying to set out a roadmap for. The Career Guidance Guarantee has been carefully costed and will require additional spend from government of around £47 per young person and around £6 per working age adult every year. It's a very small investment for what you get back. And the evidence suggests that we should see a strong return on investment, perhaps around £2.50 for every £1 spent on young people and around £3.20 for every one pound spent on unemployed adults. So what is the Career Guidance Guarantee? Well, first we would like government to set out what it wants to achieve and to publish a clear career strategy that brings together the different elements of careers provision. Secondly, we believe that the format of delivery for career guidance in schools is very strong the Gatsby benchmarks have really taken practice forward, but it, there's a need to finish the Gatsby revolution. And that's about providing better funding and stronger um, incentives for schools to deliver the Gatsby benchmarks. Thirdly, we believe that, that services for those young people who are outside of the education system or on the edge of the education system have become very weak. And the government needs to invest in ensuring that those young people who are unemployed and out of the education system have additional support. Fourthly, we believe the country spends a lot of money on further and higher education, what we might call higher level education. And yet we don't spend enough time ensuring that we get good outcomes for both individuals and societies from that. That's what career development is about. So we want to invest there. Fifthly, we want to support lifelong career development so that career guidance is not just available to people while they're in the education system or if they become unemployed, but also while they're at work as well. And finally, the whole system needs to be underpinned by strong quality assurance and professionalism so that career guidance practitioners are appropriately qualified and professionally able to do their job. This proposal has been made by a wide range of bodies led by career development specialists who have expertise in this area, but supported also by employers, learning providers, and other organizations that benefit from, from this, or this kind of proposal. We all believe that career development is in the best interests of the individual, of organizations, and of society as a whole. So what can you do to support the Career Guidance Guarantee? We'd like you to contact your prospective parliamentary candidates in your area and raise this as an issue. We'd like you to attend a hustings if you can and ask a question about career development. We'd like you to post this video on social media and we'd like you to congratulate your new MP when they're elected and mention the Career Guidance Guarantee. So thank you for listening. I hope this has been instructive. And please, to find out more, go to the Career Development Policy Group website.